Dear students, last time we saw what the biodiversity is. We saw threats to the biodiversity, the importance of the biodiversity. We saw different types of biodiversity and we saw what the effects might be when the diversity is lost. Now we are going to see how to calculate the biodiversity. Biodiversity is calculated in many ways, many ways, but we have three ways which are very important. We have, we can use what we call the Simpson's Index. Using this Simpson Index, we have the three indices that we use while calculating the biodiversity. It is still Teacher Richard. Biodiversity can be measured using her Simpsons and this. This index can be used in three ways. We have the Simpson Index D. We have Simpson's Index of Diversity. Index of Biodiversity one minus D, and we have also the Simpsons Reciprocal Index. Reciprocal Index which is 1 over D. Dear students, from the three indices, you can see that first of all, you have to calculate the Simpsons index. In order to get the Simpsons index of biodiversity, Y minus D, and later you can get the Simpsons reciprocal index, which is 1 over D. But first of all, you have to get the Simpsons index D, okay? So now we are going to see how to calculate the Simpsons index. Simpsons index. It is calculated as such. So D which is calculated as 1 minus the summation of n, small n, over big N, and you square them, okay? What are this n, n, and n is the number of organisms in a particular species where big N is the total of organisms the total number of organisms in different species. Which means when you make a survey and quote 
and catch a lot of organisms. The organisms in a particular species like cows will be denoted by the letter small n, while the organisms of all species like cows, human being, goats, bees, will all be denoted by this letter big N, which identifies the total number of organisms in different species. So dear students, we are now going to do one exercise about this and see how this formula is calculated. Now the exercise is this. You will calculate the value of Simpson's diverse index for a simple quadrate sample of ground vegetation in a certain woodland. Here are collected specimens are wood rushes, holly, bramble, Yorkshire, and sage. We have collected two individual wood rushes, eight holly, one bramble, one Yorkshire, and three sages. Okay. Now we are going to calculate the Simpson's diversity index. Okay. D. Our D will be equal to one minus the total number of n over n big n squared okay this n is the number of individual species which can be of a particular collected specimen while the n big n is the total of individual species this total equals to 2 10 11 12 and there are 15 okay so what are we going to do this implies that our d will be equal to 1 minus the summation of the summation of n we have 2 over 15 squared plus 8 over 15 squared plus 1 over 15 squared as well plus 1 over 15 squared and plus 3 over 15 squared okay so our D will be equal to reminding you that 15 is the total here the total of all individuals okay when we take a particular number and we divide it with this total and we put on a square so our D will be equal to 1 minus 2 over 15, we have 0 0.07, we have plus, here it's 0 0.285 plus 0 0.004 plus 0 0.004 and here it's 0 0.04 okay and our d will be equal to one minus 0 0.35 and finally our d will be equal to zero point sixty five this is how we calculate the simpsons index of diversity and we are going to see what does this d mean the Simpsons index D is 
he is always between 0 and 1, okay? It's always between 0 and 1. You cannot have a d which is greater than 1 or which is less than 0. The bigger the vary, the bigger the vary, the, the smaller number of species. Which means when you get one as D, it means that there is no any single species on that area. So, from the exercise that we, we did previously, 0 0.65 means, means that there is a moderate, a moderate number of species. So dear students, that's how we can recreate the Simpsons index and like I told you, it's always between 0 and 1. So dear students, we'll be together in other sessions. This is it for the today's session which was calculation of Simpsons index. Reminding you that it is made of three different indices which are Simpsons index, Simpsons index of diversity, and Simpsons reciprocal index. They are all calculated from the Simpsons index which is D, while the Simpsons index of diversity is 1 minus that D, while the Simpsons reciprocal index is 1 over D. So dear students, Thank you for the session of today. We are together in other sessions.